Hey guys, Crispy here. Welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on this makeup look. I feel like I haven't done a makeup look in a long time, so I kind of wanted to catch up with you guys, chit chat, update you on a few little new techniques that I've learned lately. And yeah, so let's get started. All right, you guys, so I already have my foundation done. I'm just really quickly going to mention the products that I used on my face. So for my moisturizer, I'm using this little guy that came in my Ipsy Glam Bag. This is from Promise Organic, Ultra Moisturizing Argan Cream Face Lotion with Olive Oil. And this is gonna help moisturize and smooth out my skin. Then I used my favorite professional, a little dirty it's been floating in my makeup bag this has been one of my new favorite products i feel like it just makes the skin really really smooth so i just put a thin layer of that over my moisturize <laughs> over my moisturizer so i put this hey honey open your eyes eye contour lifting fluid around my eyes just for some extra moisture and for my foundation i use this makeup forever ultra hd foundation i used it in 127 but this is um, my favorite foundation at the moment so i had a realization at gem beauty because everybody's makeup looked so bomb and so on point and i realized that i've been slacking on my makeup first thing i decided that i had to bring back was really really dramatic brows text message. So I'm gonna start by using this Anastasia brow powder and I'm using the lighter one. And up here, I'm really using the edge of the brush at the top of the brow because I want that line to be sharp, but I don't wanna carve it out um, with concealer or foundation. Sometimes I feel like that's a little bit too harsh. So I'm really holding the brush flat and I'm using the edge up there to get that line nice and sharp, and I'm still using the lighter brow powder. Next, I'm going to use my Anastasia Dip Brow in chocolate. I'm gonna start at the very, not the very, very front, but towards the front of the brow. And I'm just really lightly dragging it back. I don't want my arch too high. I don't like when my eyebrows are very high. I feel like it, um, it's just not flattering to my face. I wanna make my brows like as long as possible. So I'm even taking it a little bit lower than my natural arch. Now up here in the front of the brow, whatever I have left over on the brush from doing the tail, I'm just going to lightly feather over towards the front and then even just kind of bring it, oops, but I'm even gonna like kind of uh, drag it upwards a little bit too. So next I'm going to take some concealer, a cream concealer, and I'm gonna carve out just the bottom line of my brows. So for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna start by just applying some like warm nudie shades up into the upper crease area. I really am, I haven't changed much with my eyeshadow technique. This brush that I'm using is the Luxie Small Tapered Blending Brush, the 231. This is a synthetic brush and it's good for the crease. You can really blend with it or you can get the line nice and sharp. So next I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Fudge in the same brush and I'm just gonna put this into the crease. And I'm, I'm holding the brush at an angle so that the edge is down. I'm gonna take some more of that eyeshadow and I'm just gonna make a little V. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of this Monica Dar powder and I'm also gonna put it on um, the under eyes and the lid. This is a little bit not very smooth over here. And the reason why it's not smooth is because normally I put my foundation over my lid as my base, but I didn't do that. So it kind of has nothing to stick to. So it's sticking to my more oily spots. So I'm just gonna try and go over it with a little bit of eyeshadow and see if that helps to smooth it out. So I'm using this eyeliner called Costa Riche from MAC. This is the, cause when I went on the eyesight, um, eyesight. when I went on the website, 
there was like 20 different kinds of eyeliners. This is the eye coal. Eye coal. At Gem Beauty, I was talking with Kathleen Lights and Manny. This is like where my whole like, I realized I need to step up my makeup game, or one of the reasons why. And they were just talking about um, using different color eyeliners in the waterline and how um, if you use like a con contrasting color, it'll make your eyes pop. And Manny was like, dude, you need to get this one. So I bought this one. I bought like a bunch of other like warm toned liners. So if you have green or blue eyes, it's really gonna make your eyes pop. And even if you have hazel eyes, using something that has a warm tone is also gonna contrast with the blue or green tones in the hazel and make it pop. Or if you have brown eyes, you can use like a, um, a blue or a purple and that'll make your eyes pop too. So I'm gonna put it in the waterline and I'm also, oh, it's kinda weird right now. And I'm also bringing it down into the lash line over here. I'm just gonna put a little bit on this top lash line over here and try and resist the urge to make a wing. So next I'm going to take a MAC 239 brush. I'm just gonna smudge out this liner a little bit. So I'm just gonna put on a quick coat of mascara before I put on my false lashes. I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use this product called Color Facets from M Cosmetics. The color is Glam Fairy. So I'm just going to take a brush and just really lightly Put it around the tear duct areas of the eyes. These are the Slayla Lash from Flutter Lashes. I also really like the Shayla Lash from Flutter Lashes. Okay, so I know I've been saying this forever and I've known this, but I don't know, I like finally realized I was doing my lashes a little bit wrong. I knew that you're supposed to keep your eye open when you apply them, but I guess I was still kind of squinting like this and it would make one lash go like this and one lash go like this. So now, this is what I do. I just kind of squint so that my the false lashes behind my regular lashes, and literally with my eye open like this, I slide it down on to my lashes. And I secure it in the middle first. And then I go ahead and take the tweezers and slide the edges or the sides back to the lash line also. That was another realization I had at Gem Beauty. Everyone had on like super, super beautiful, big, dramatic lashes. And I was like, I can't do that because like they don't cooperate when I apply them. So on Instagram, I've um, seen a couple of pictorials of nose contouring and they really, really transformed the nose. And I noticed it was just a little bit different than how I was doing it. So I tweaked my technique just a tad. So I'm taking the original Anastasia contour kit and a flat brush. This is just, I don't even know what brush this is, but this is basically like a, a flat eyeshadow brush. And lately I've been going, starting on the bottom of the nose and I'm holding the brush upwards. It's funny how like contouring makeup goes through all these trends. I feel like the nose contouring has changed a little bit. It's like they go straight down and then outwards. And before I was kind of going down and then making this rounder. And I guess it just looks a little bit more refined um, the other way. I'm gonna start by taking this line in right here. I mean, I'm not gonna go up like this. I'm just gonna go straight. That's really dark. The natural ridge of my nose is out here. I'm gonna cheat it a little bit and take it in. do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna leave it a little bit unblended. I just wanna get everything in place before I kind of fix it up. Okay, so now I just wiped off um, whatever product was left over on the brush. And now that there's like nothing left on it, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of start, try to blend this out a little bit. Next we're gonna take highlighter, and I've noticed people highlighting differently on the nose too. So I still think it's good to put a little bit of highlighter on the tip of your nose. 
Oh, and this is Anastasia Beverly Hills, so Hollywood. And then if you take a little bit and just put it right here, it kind of helps highlight the face, but it also helps this to look lower. I'm just gonna put a little bit on top of my cheekbones too while we're at it, because why not? So for my blush, I'm going to be using this blush in Desert Rose from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. This is a natural blush. And I'm just gonna smile and go ahead and put it on the apples of my cheeks. For my lips, I'm gonna take a little bit of this MAC Stone Liner. For my liquid lipstick, I'm going to be using this color from NYX Cosmetics. Pretty sure it's True Nude. So I'm also going to mix in this Chella lipstick pencil. This is a moisturizing lip pencil. Last but not least, I'm going to take this pink sequin lip gloss from Jessica Liebeskind. So this was a whole makeup look. I hope you guys liked it and that you learned something new. Definitely give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm bored. Let's go do things we'll regret. Like I done known. Basically.